Hi, Tile at Interfidelity here. Today we're going to talk about planar magnetic headphones, how they work, and we're going to look, take a look at a couple of the drivers uh, of these headphones from the Hi-Fi Man HE6 and the Odyssey LCD2 headphone. Um, I've already disassembled this, but I'm kind of holding it together here so you can see the pieces as they normally are. This is from the Hi-Fi Man HE6 headphone. Uh, on the front side is the ear pad, and if the ear pad is removed, there's a retaining ring that is in here. And then this is the driver itself. You can see that there's uh, some acoustically transparent material here, a little bit of damping around here, some damping material around the outside of the driver. This is uh, the support outside the uh, magnet magnets. These are the magnets in here and we'll take a closer look at, the, at that in a second. Um, and a little stiffening bar. There is a great deal of pressure being exerted outward uh, as the magnets oppose each other inside the driver. And so these assemblies have to be quite rigid. Uh, on the rear side there's a grill and uh, when we take off the grill There's a, some damping material, a little damping thing here, and then of course some wool. And then inside is the driver itself. Uh, don't do this at home. <laughs> um, I've completely broken this pair. So here's the driver itself. Um, you can see it's a sandwiched assembly. Uh, and if you take that apart, this is what you see on the inside. Okay, these, this is the diaphragm here. Um, you can see that it's a very thin, very, very flexible uh, plastic film. And in the film, uh, it appears that uh, it's a gold leaf uh, uh, conductor assembly that goes serpentine through the driver like that. And these are the magnets mounted inside the driver. When assembled, the magnets line up such that essentially each of these conductive traces is in between a pair of magnets and immersed in the isodynamic magnetic field in there. And as current goes through these, it will push or pull the diaphragm. So the diaphragm gets pushed and pulled over the entire surface. Again, very thin, very fragile. A closer look at the magnets here. <clears throat> these are the bar magnets. They're aligned so that uh, the poles are uh, facing outward. So it's north and south alternating. So this would be if this was a if this was a north, then this would be a south, and then that would be a north, and then this would be a south, and then that would be a north, and so on. These are very powerful neodymium magnets. Uh, and I'll show you how strong they are. I'm going to put on a pair of glasses because if these magnets snap together, they're very brittle and uh, they break. And I've already done that once and it was pretty frightening. Um, but here's one of the magnets on the table here. And you can see if I put this magnet over it, that I can actually move it from here. Um, while I was assembling this or disassembling this driver, uh, the the two bodies slipped when I did it and the magnets attached to each other and I'll show you a picture of how incredibly difficult it was to take these two assemblies apart from each other. It was in, in amazingly uh, a powerful attraction. Um, I, I virtually almost couldn't get them apart. Uh, now this is the Odyssey LCD2 driver. <clears throat> um, it's a bit of a different assembly. The magnets in this assembly are underneath these. Uh, uh, this uh, I assume it's an aluminum uh, plate. 
and similarly on the back side. And then you can see within uh, uh, is these traces here, and these look to be aluminum traces uh, that are on the diaphragm. So now you've seen the inside of a planar magnetic headphone driver. Pretty cool, huh? Thanks for visiting today.